welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to be talking to you about oil paints and specifically colors of oil paints. What are the best colors to choose and to use? I'm actually going to be painting them for you so you can see the differences so you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money on all of them, but just choose the ones that you really will use. I definitely recommend having black and white. So the black and white I recommend, I'm not gonna be painting with these ones today, but these are the ones that I recommend, titanium white and, mar and ivory black. There is also Mars black and zinc oxide white. These are the ones that I would recommend. Now let's talk about color. Um, I would say you need a red, a yellow, and a blue. And if that's all you can afford, then just start out with that and maybe a green. <laughs> but start out with those colors, but there's a little bit of a variety of what you can choose from within those colors. So that's what I'm gonna talk to you today about and I'll be showing you. So I'm going to paint the pure color and then I'll just thin it out a little bit with my paintbrush so you can kind of see what it looks like a little bit more transparent and a little bit thicker. This is Cadmium Red Light Pure. This is Cadmium Red Medium Pure, and I'm using Utrecht paints, probably saying that wrong. This is Alizarian Crimson. This is Cadmium Yellow Medium Pure. This is Cadmium Yellow Lemon Pure. This is Yellow Ochre. This is Sap Green Hue. This is Viridian. This is Ultramarine Blue. This is French Ultramarine Blue. This is Prussian Blue. This is Patholo Blue. This is Burnt Umber. This one is Burnt Sienna. This is raw sienna. I just want you to see what a color looks like with the hue of the color next to it. And the hue will be something that is the same color, but it doesn't have the harmful stuff in it. So this is just sap green. So that is what it looks like. And then below it, we will paint our sap green hue. So the sap green hue is quite a bit different than the sap green. I'm actually really surprised, but again, that could be brand. Let's try another comparison. We will do ultramarine, French ultramarine with a, a Windsor & Newton and then a French ultramarine in a Utrecht and just see if the colors are similar or if they are not. So this top one will be Utrecht and the bottom one will be Windsor & Newton. So not too much of a difference. You can def definitely tell it is a similar color. So that's just to show you, you know, if you're worried about buying different brands, then you can kind of see this comparison here. All right, I've gone through all the colors. Now what you need to do is just look over these, think about what you want to paint, and then when you go to the store, at least you can see the difference between like ultramarine blue and French ultramarine blue. My hope for this demonstration was that it would be a little bit easier for you to choose which colors you want um, to buy if you're just starting out in oil painting, or maybe if you have some colors but you can't quite mix up a specific color in a painting, then maybe this would be helpful for you to figure out what you need. But again, there's a lot more than this. These are just the ones that I bought. I would have bought everything. You know, if I had enough money, I would probably have a huge variety of oil paint colors. But if you're just starting out, you really just need a red, yellow, blue, black, white, maybe a green, maybe a brown. Uh, so you can kind of choose which color works best for you. Thank you so much for joining me today on Mr. Otter's studio, and I will see you next week.